A big change is coming to the East Village. In just the last 30 minutes, the city agreed to sell Tailgate Park to the Padres. The team, however, doesn't want to expand the stadium, nothing like that. They want to build nearly 2,000 homes. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner is live at the site for us. And Jennifer, critics say most of these homes would not actually go to the people who need them the most. Yeah, that's right. Affordable housing advocates are sounding off. They do not like this plan. It will transform this lot just behind me, uh, Tailgate Park, into thousands of apartments, but only a small percentage of them will be for low income housing. The San Diego City Council just voted on the plan late this afternoon. It passed eight to one. This proposal was pitched by real estate investment arms of the Padres. Developers want to transform this $35 million lot into a community park, a 1200 space parking lot and 1800 apartment units spread across three buildings. The city's share of net proceeds would be about $6 million. The controversy comes down to the housing. Only 15% of the apartments would be for low to middle income families. Affordable housing proponents argue that since the land was purchased with redevelopment funds, the money should be used not just for profit, but also for public good. Well, we're not where we need to be, not where we should be. Um, all you have to do is walk downtown and you're stepping over human beings who live on the street. If we're talking about public land that is supposed to serve a public need, I think we better be doing the former. And in a statement, the San Diego Padres wrote in part that this project offers desperately needed new housing, a dynamic public park and a vibrant mix of shops and restaurants that will enrich the game day experience during Padres games and other events hosted at Petco Park. We'll talk more about the next steps coming up tonight on ABC 10 News at 7 o'clock. Reporting live tonight from East Village, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. We look forward to that at 7 o'clock. Thank you, Jennifer.